Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what sold on Poshmark. I sell on multiple platforms to include eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatnot, and also a little bit of Etsy. I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you guys want to know more about that, there is a link down in the description of the video that is a tutorial that will walk you through list perfectly. So check that out. And if that interests you, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word to get 30% off your first month. All right. So a lot of people only sell clothes on Poshmark. That is not me. I sell everything and you're going to see just what I mean. I sell a lot of hard goods over there. This is in fact a clothing item. It is a swimsuit. I had this listed for a very, very long time and it finally sold. It is an Ann Cole bikini two-piece swimsuit after fees. I'm going to tell you right now, I probably didn't make much money on this because I think this was a TJ Maxx pickup and I usually paid anywhere between five and $15 for the items when it was yellow tag time. So this one, I think I paid a little more for sold it for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely not all swimsuits are created equal. This one was a tough sale. The next item is this collector's patches, the nature company animals. Now I had two sets of these. One set sold super fast and I believe I sold it on eBay a long, long, long time ago. This set took longer to sell. But if you see these collector's patches, definitely look them up. This sold faster on Poshmark. Sold these for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Fredericks of Hollywood. Did I spell Hollywood wrong? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have been selling these forever. That's not how you spell Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm missing an L. Oh wow, that's ridiculous. Anyway, Fredericks of Hollywood. Wait a minute. Fredericks of Hollywood. Which Fredericks of Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, I spelled it wrong. I'm like, maybe, maybe? No, nope, nope, I just spelled it wrong. That's ridiculous. What a big typo that is. And do you know how many times I have featured this in a video? Nobody told me. Why didn't anybody tell me I spelled that wrong? Wow. Okay. So <laughs> it's a wig and I bought a whole bunch of these and they have been misspelled for a very long time. That's ridiculous. Sold it for $20. I have sold these on eBay. I have sold these on Mercari. I've sold these on Poshmark. Um, I believe I have them listed on whatnot now in my buy it now. And to, not not a great pickup. I bought this on the Fredericks of Hollywood website. I think I paid about $8 a piece for these. These were a list it and forget it multi-quantity item that sell on all platforms. Again, talking about list perfectly. Get those items cross-posted. Uh, you have more chances of selling your item when there's more eyes on your item. So check out that demo video down below. The next item is this Land of Nod Hippo plush. It is a knit plush little stuffed animal. I sold it for $25. If you see Land of Nod, definitely uh, look it up. If you can get it cheap, I would pick it up. This is a Coach shoulder bag purse. I got this at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, uh, but I sold this for $58 and it even had some ink on it. Let me see if I can find it here in the photo. I know I took a picture of it. Right there, ink, ink, $58 plus shipping. The next item is this DKNY jean jacket. It's so old, the photo won't even show up, but I sold it for $25 plus shipping. This was another multi-quantity item. I picked this up at, I believe, Gabriel, Bro Gabriel Brothers, which is now Gabe's. Great place to source. I want to say I paid a dollar each for these. Some of them sold quickly. This one took forever, but I sold it for $25 plus shipping. Still, still made a great profit. This is a Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse plant, and it's from 1996. I sold this for $9. Not a big profit with the 20% fee. Plus, um, it's actually more than 20% when you sell something for under $15. 
Fisher Price Loving Family is another item that sells great on all of the platforms. Uh, I have sold Fisher Price Loving Family on Mercari and eBay. Also, lots of it. And I recently had a Fisher Price Loving Family whatnot sale. I have another huge tote that I still have full. Probably do another one of these in the future, but I sold a ton of Fisher Price Loving Family. It was all Loving Family. It was a category whatnot show. If you guys are not following me over there, definitely check me out. I'm Bolo Buddies. Looks exactly like this. You can get $15 to shop with my referral link down below, Bolo Buddies, um, on whatnot. So $15 free money. You don't have to use that with me. If you want to check out the replay, I'm pretty sure that's still up. It's uh, probably says whatnot loving family. And you can kind of see what the loving family items are selling for on whatnot. I did have this sale before Christmas. So I think a lot of people were buying the items not for resale, but as personal purchases as gifts. So definitely check it out. Maybe you will want to sell on whatnot. I do have a referral link for selling on whatnot as well. It is a different link. This is Alphabet Island. This is something I only put on Poshmark because it's a heavier item and it wasn't a high dollar item. Probably wouldn't have sold for much on eBay because of the shipping cost. Uh, $7.97 is what you pay for shipping on Poshmark. And that's also for bundles. So that's great. Um, if you guys are not selling on Poshmark, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you use that to join. And it's great for heavy items. The next item is this QP, or wait, QP, QP. I always say that wrong. QP Cards Rose O'Neill Postcard Collection. And you can see this is not in great shape, but it's got these cute little postcards. This is probably a junk journaler that journal. <laughs> somebody who junk journals probably bought this to use the cute little photos. Sold this for $10. These are 10 acrylic uh, focal shapes for jewelry makers. Sold these for nine. Again, not a big money bolo. Just something that moved pretty slowly, actually. This probably would have been good for my whatnot jewelry show because I could have actually showed the items better and I could have put it in a crafter show more categorized so long tail item on Poshmark may be a great item for whatnot for you whatnot sellers uh spirit Halloween mouse nose tail got this at the Goodwill bins sold it for $12 I think wait was this the Goodwill bins I think it was the Goodwill bins it might have been a garage sale I know I got some face masks that were animal shaped at the Goodwill bins this may have been a garage sale but probably a dollar or less than that this is a Samantha style shop jacket. I got this when fashion bug went out of business. I don't know if you guys know, but that was a long time ago. I think it was before I got married. So long, long time ago. Um, I still sold it for $20, made a profit, had a whole bunch of them. It was a multi quantity item. I went into fashion bug and I bought out a lot of their items before they closed at the 90% off price. So I did not have much in this. This is a David's Bridal dress. I bought these retail arbitrage on the David's Bridal website. Would I recommend it? No, probably not. Did I make a nice profit on this? Yes, I sold it for $50, probably had eight to 10 in it. Uh, retail arbitrage, you're typically going to pay a little more for your items. What I would do is I go to different, I don't do it anymore, but I used to go to like Lane Bryant, David's Bridal, Catherine's, Fredericks of Hollywood, and I would retail arbitrage their clearance items, usually at the end of season, and I would flip those items for profit. It's a way to source from home. You pay a lot more and usually have to wait at least a year for the items to really start selling. Now, the David's Bridal dresses, a lot of those sold more quickly because they were the current styles. Now, like I have to have somebody that's looking for garnet and the wedding party is allowed to pick any dress they want to sell these items or somebody using this for homecoming or prom, which are other great keywords I should have in my title. This is an engagement ring, costume jewelry. So costume means it is not real. It's just a uh, faux diamond. Uh, I don't know what kind of, I don't know if it's glass or what it is, but I sold this for $16. Obviously it took a long time to sell. 
This is a Burberry eyeglasses, frames only, Italy with case, uh, pre-owned. Got these at the Goodwill Benz, sold it for $70, and the buyer paid shipping. These are wood, white letters, arts and crafts. This right here has yellowing on the packaging. The actual item is fine. Sold these for $19 plus shipping. This is another item that I only, I, ah, uh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did have these on the other platforms. I can't remember. Uh, I got those at an estate sale, pretty much thrown in for free, the letters. Vintage Yamazaki Japan spoon and serving fork. I don't remember where I got these, but I sold them for $13. And the buyer paid shipping on Poshmark. This is a scarlet dress, black women's size eight, full length. It's a really cool looking dress. This I have had listed a very, very long time. It was new with tags. I don't even remember where I got it. Probably Gabriel Brothers, probably paid about $3 for it. Sold it for 30 plus shipping. This is a word whammer. I think I think this came from the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $21. Anytime you find the word whammers and things like that, uh, these electronic games, look them up. This one's by Leapfrog. I sold it for $21 and the buyer paid shipping. These are another item that I picked up at Gabriel Brothers or no, wait, I think this was Gabriel Brothers, either that or Discount Fashion Warehouse. I think it was Gabe's. Usually pay $3 or less for my clothing items back when I did retail arbitrage and I sold these for 20 plus shipping. It was a multi-quantity listing. I bought a ton of these, different styles, different colors. Some sold quickly. This one's been hanging around a while. Uh, size, you know, some sizes sell quicker than other. Express skirt. This was a discount fashion warehouse pickup. I think I paid $3 for this and I sold it for 19 plus shipping. And the vintage Halloween international sweater cardigan vest. This is a vintage Halloween item. Always, always, always love finding vintage Halloween. These, um, I guess you can call them ugly sweaters. There's Christmas sweaters, different things like that. They'll have a vintage tag in them. These are definitely a bolo. This came from a garage. So I think I paid seven for two Halloween sweaters. So $3 and 50 cents each. And I think the other one sold for more. This sold for $78 plus the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. These are some of my Poshmark sales. Again, go down there, check out that List Perfectly tutorial video. The Pro Plus plan is going to be out soon. Um, D-list, auto D-list, lots of new features. You can upgrade to the Pro Plus plan. I think you can use Bolo Buddies and get that 30% off. Not 100% sure how that works. I think you can use it with upgrades, but I'm not sure. But at least try, right? Um, if you're new to List Perfectly, you definitely get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. Thank you so much for being here. Check out those referral links down below. They cost you nothing and they do help me keep the channel going. So thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.